Hey everyone, welcome to the newest interview episode hosted by Planet Number Two. As you can see from my outfit, we are currently in the Southwest Biodiversity Institute, and in this episode, we are fortunately enough to invite Dr. Tan Kin, which is one of the most famous、uh, beast behavior and、uh, bio researcher. In this episode, we're gonna have a short interview and inter- interaction with him to、uh, learn more about how climate crisis has been affecting on the beast behavior. For, so today we're gonna talk about how the environmental crisis have have affected、uh, the bees' behavior, and what is your interest upon this topic. So we're gonna start off with the first question. Um. So Dr. Ten, as a well accomplished researcher, teacher, and environmentalist, what is your initial aspiration to enter this field of studying bees' behavior? You know, I, I just、uh, engaged with a honey bee for forty years. I love honey bees. In long,、uh, long term of history, right?、Uh, honey bee provide us honey, pollen, raw jelly, and properties and nut products. The most interesting thing is the honey bee's pollination. Yeah. So, in this case, if you want to help the honey bees to pollinate our crops, we should know. More about the honeybee's biology.、Uh, I'm very interested in honeybee's behavior and honeybee's、uh, behavior ecology. Yeah, that's that's absolutely fascinating because、mm. I have my personal interest in、uh, environmental science. It is because of the small things that environment will act upon us. So、mm. thank you very much for that answer. And、um, I want to ask you another、uh, question: Is that from your professional knowledge? How big of a role does honeybees play in nature? Wow! Thank you for your very wonderful questions. You know the honeybees is the main pollinator in the crops、oh. and in the plants around the world, especially for the modern agriculture.、Mm-hmm. We need the honeybees pollination, otherwise the crop production will be decreased. So it's very unfortunate. So thank us for the honeybee. We can improve our agriculture. Right. We can improve our crop production.、Mm. So in this case, honeybees is a very important pollinator in the world. Right. That makes sense because I I know that the honeybees there are two bees right like honeybees and wild bees and they are both acting as the pollinator of the flowers and the plants right. Oh yes, yes, correct.、Oh. Uh, honeybees, uh, you see, with the beekeeping development, a lot of honeybees are kept by we call the beekeeper. They produce honey and the bee products.、Uh-huh. Another white honeybee, just like bumblebees. Right. Now people also can keep them for the pollination in the greenhouse. A lot of crop now gr- uh, grows planted in greenhouse. They need the pollinator. So honey bee and bumble bees are the main pollinator for the crops.、Mm. That makes sense. Um,、mm. I want to ask you another question based on that answer. Is that as a proficient scholar in this field and also as a beekeeper yourself, what is your prospect on the effect of climate change or climate warming, uh, to the honey bees? We now face the bigger challenge of the global climate change. Right. With the global climate change, a lot of the plants. Uh, for a survivor, it has also met a great challenge. With the climate、uh, change, with the temperature increase, a lot of plant died because of the drought or because of the dry. So the honeybees lost the pollinated plant. This means they lost lost the food resources.、Right. In this case, it's a、uh, badly affected the survivor. Yeah. So. Um, based on that answer, from your experience, do you think there's anything we can do to create a solution for this、uh, problem that have been faced by honeybees? Like maybe we can create artificial artificial hives or something like that. Ah、uh, yes, sir. we can help、uh, help honeybees. The first sense is we should love the honeybees, love the honeybee biology. Right. We should love what kind of the environment、uh, is best for them. What kind of the problem? That we can help them to solve. Just、uh, when the temperature is too high, too hot, we should help the honeybees to keep them in a cool 
condition or the cooler environment. Right. So we can protect them because uh, uh, they are very, very fragile in the nature. They can't uh, protect them if it's a bad, very bad or very uh, terrible environment. So in this case, the human beings should uh, help them, just right. uh, help them to cool the temperature. Yeah. Let the survivor better. So uh, one last question I want to ask you today, Dr. Tan, is about, um, because you know our organization, Planet Number 2, is aiming to spread the awareness of the devastating effects of climate change. And mm. um, this effect are uh, affecting every species, including the one that you are researching upon, honeybees and others. Um, what is your suggestion towards the younger generations like us to improve mm. the environment? Okay, uh, that's a very good question. For the young generation, we should uh, learn how to deal with the natural environment. Uh, for one example, we should reduce to the to reduce the use of the plastics things or other uh, one time consumer things. Right. Because it's very bad to the environment. You see, now uh, since the economic development. We use a lot of plastic things or the like similar things. We badly polluted the environment. It's also badly polluted the environment of the honeybees. For the young generation, we should love the environment. We should reduce our consumption of many things, just like your plastic bag or one-time use stuffs. We should reduce to use them. I... Another second uh, things, we should uh, read more books, study more things about the environment. Also include the uh, honeybee biology. In that case, we learn how to deal with the environment well, how to live, live in the environment uh, harmoniously. I absolutely agree with that. Um, I think it's definitely the key is to um to let the younger generation to accumulate more knowledge in order to combat the uh, grand topic of climate change. And this is yeah. what uh, plan number two uh, us are doing today is trying to, you know, like raise the awareness and to raise the knowledge accumulation of the younger generation. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for coming today, Dr. Tan. It's such an honor to host you today and I uh, hope your research is go, uh, will go well in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the TV. Also, thank I hope you will have a bright future. You are very smart. Oh, thank you very much. Just keep on it. Yeah, okay. thank you.